The Cardinal Onikon Foundation for Peace, COVP, an interreligious group, has organized a football tournament in Abuja with the objective of bringing together young people of different ethnic groups in order to promote peace and eradicate conflicts in our society. The football competition scheduled for a period of three months is expected to feature eight different teams. The tournament, which kicked off recently at the Papal Ground in Kubur, had in attendance His Eminence John Cardinal Onaikan, Archbishop of Abuja, and Al Haji Nuru Khalid, the Imam of Apo Legislative Jumat Mosque, amongst other notable individuals. The Cardinal declared the tournament open by taking the kickoff. <laughs> The home team of PFC and the visiting team, Solas FC, took to the field of play as they traded tackles in a pulsating and exciting encounter. The purpose of the, the match is to promote peace among players. At the end of a match, the visiting team, Solas FC, narrowly beats Kof PFC by two goals to one. The Cardinal and others had this to say at the end of the encounter. It's important in our human society. It's important for the Church of God. It cannot just be prayer, prayer, prayer. Even the monks who are living inside the enclosed areas. This is work. Work means the things that we as human beings do in order to uh, arrive at a better world. The prayer is to support our human efforts, knowing that unless the Lord builds, the laborer labors in vain. Yeah, before, you, before our interview, just as we were starting this football match, there was a rosary procession around this compound, organized by another group of our Catholic Church. And I was saying, it is wonderful. God has done it in such a way that while we are promoting peace by football, there are people who are also praying for football. It's not either or, it's both. Now, football is only one of that. There are many other things that we should be doing to promote peace. The most important of which is uh, um, the way we organize our society. Uh, our politicians should be very more concerned about peace. But unfortunately, we find that most of our problems about conflicts and uh, polarization has been, uh, uh, is being promoted by politicians who want a cheap cheap way of getting their interest. But when, by the time we have a group of politicians whose major, major concern is the good of the people and the stability and progress of the community, then everybody will be doing all they can to promote peace, to reduce tension, to banish uh, hate speeches and things like that. You know, once, you, once politics means that I should win the elections at all costs, then the cost could also be the peace of the nation. So people want to win election even if the nation is in tatters, even if the nation is in chaos. That is stupidity. It is short-sightedness. Because when the nation is in tatters, even the politicians cannot live freely. So uh, we religious leaders, it should, be, it should be a natural thing for us to promote peace. Because anybody who says he's working in the name of God, and our God is a God of peace, whether Christian or Muslim, cannot be doing anything else but promoting peace. That's why you see me and Elijah Khalid here, and uh, many Christian and Muslim leaders in Nigeria are joining hands in this regard. We hear very frightful rumors here and there. Some even claim me to be for religious purposes. But we cannot stop people from being mischievous, but we can do our best 
to do the right thing. All that it takes for mischievous people to succeed is for well-meaning people to do nothing. I, I will not sit down and do nothing. That is why we are here. We think of sport because um, His Eminence has started uh, a, a group, a football club, under his foundation and comprises of Muslims and Christians. And we come into it because we believe that football is one of the things that speaks for unity. It tells us that we are human beings and we can come together as human beings. And um, whatever color, whatever ethnic, whatever tribe, whatever affiliation we may have, Whatever faith we believe in, we can still uh, maintain our humanity. It is the first and the most important thing that brings us together. We come from one father, Adam, and there is no um, uh, disagreement between the Christendom and the Muslims in that regard. Therefore, let's bring our youths together because we are about to leave the world for them. They are going to be the leaders of tomorrow, and we want them to inherit a good um, legacy from us that, that is a better Nigeria, a good place of living. And we, 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 we must address uh, this uh, because it is time that our politicians are starting their game again. So we want them to understand that no matter what game they play, we are still one. We don't want. To, we are indivisible uh, people. We we can't agree for them to divide us and still the remaining unity, the little unity remain, the little peace we have. We don't. We, we can't compromise it for any reason. We are promoting peace in this uh, arena, both all ethnic groups, so that we can have peace. Body, the Aousa, the Yoruba the Igbo and the other, uh, other tribe in the country. Matches have already been played by the different participating teams in the competition.